Hello, my creatures, spectacular caravan, she's delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading, Abracadabra baby. How are you doing, Aquarius? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, today we are doing the classic, you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, all right. Snake in the grass. I mean, you know how it, you know how it goes, Aquarius. All right. Uh, please show me angels of love. What is going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their boo -boo. This is your September 2023 energy, and we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person, my boo, boo You got the, okay, three swords at the bottom of the deck, baby. Oh, heartbreak, heartbreak, heartache, oh, indigestion. This person left you with a bad taste in your mouth. Things did not end so nicely. Ooh, boo -boo. You know, you're dealing with an egomaniac. There's a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't cancel me, okay? Like, I'm a woman. I always say this. You know, when I say crazy and stuff like that, I'm a woman. I've been labeled crazy my entire life just for being a woman. So, you know, just reclaim it. Reclaim it. Um, uh, this person, okay, so I already see something here, and it's not good. This person left you with unresolved questions uh, in an unresolved situation they left they it's almost like somebody broke up with you because they wanted to break up with you you know they wanted to be the one to say i broke up with the aquarius all right i am the scrumptiousness i am the bit bill i broke up with the aquarius the six of wands victory at any cost this person wanted to make themselves feel good at your expense <sighs> selfish energy you know the nine of wands um how they see you. They know what they did to you. They know precisely what they did to you. Aquarius, my boo -boo. And they feel good about it. What a douche. I didn't say a different D word. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Wands. You know, this is someone who, like, this is, you know, in, in the darker aspect of this, this is someone who, like, you're not above burning down a village just to get a little satisfaction. You know, ruthless. There's a lot of ruthlessness and crazies today. All right, let's see what happened in the past. Also, curious, my boo, boo welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you are new. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you, and I see you, baby. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm. Thank you, Aquarius. Oh my gosh, I love you. You know you're my favorites, because I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising when we're in the Aquarius um, universe, you know, dating an Aquarius friends with Aquarians, also Aquarius. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. <sighs> okay, this is someone, you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If this is like a new energy, bimbo, himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, this is somebody who uh, is actually like a loner. You got the hermit here, it's someone who's a loner, someone who, um, like deep inside, you know, it's a very introverted energy. Um, they could be like the life of the party, but deep inside, it's like a scheming, introverted, you know, darkness energy. It's a lone wolf. I don't think this person has had a lot of relationships in their life or lasting relationships. And I don't think that they particularly value relationships or love or partnership. Uh, you've got the tower here between you. So, there was a big blow up, a big fall. Something happened all of a sudden. And if it was a new energy, you know, this is someone who ghosted or, you know, like went quiet, went silent all of a sudden. And all of a sudden, also, Aquarius, my big bill, you saw their true face here with the sun, you know, and it wasn't pretty. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> not to like ugly shame, but it was like monstrous. Like you saw their true face. It really was not pretty, okay? This was not the face of an angel. This is the face of a douche flip. <sighs> douche face. <laughs> this is a douche face. You suddenly realize something. Let's see how it happened. Oh, it's okay, Pip Bill. Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, you took your power back. This is also your energy here, baby. You took your power back. The King of Swords took their power back, saw through something. Thinking with the mind, not with the heart. All of a sudden you realize something. Uh, it could have been something that came out in the conversation. Could have been something that you saw on their phone, but there was a betrayal here. The Five of Swords. 
person betrayed you. Mm. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. This person betrayed you. This is somebody who went back to an ex. This is somebody who wasn't honest with you. If it was a new energy, they were not honest with you. They told you, if they suddenly ghosted you, they told you they were, they told you they were single, but they weren't. Um, either still married, separated, something gray area, something wasn't right. Oh, did you hear that, babies? It's my spirits, spirits, spirits in the house. Um, yeah, you know, like they were not as single as they told you they were. And, you know, they felt like they had to break up with you because they wanted that satisfaction because eventually something would come out or it already came out and you saw that. And instead of, you know, allowing you to have your say, they just ran away. That's what happened here. But this person like disappeared or ghosted. And it was like, or it was like a blow up, a blow up and you had a fight and you mentioned something and something slipped out and the mask fell off. They're into you though. I mean, the other thing, you know, the other relationship, is it over? It's like kind of half over. And they hid it from you because they knew they wouldn't stand a chance uh, if they told you the truth. If it was an established connection, oh, I don't know, Aquarius, I don't like this person. I don't like any of the people today. Um, if it was an established connection, again, I think some, somebody was keeping a secret for a very, very long time and somebody was either talking to, to their ex while they were with you or they were talking to somebody else. And you know, this is interesting because we haven't had these themes on this channel like for a long time. I mean, sometimes they come up, but, but we don't, you know, I always say with a grain of salt, you know, when cheating comes up or third parties, I'm just a random woman on the internet with an inflatable alien in the background, you know how it is. So don't, you know, if you don't know there was cheating and that kind of stuff, don't, that's not a message for you. It's always only if you have the receipts. So don't get triggered. But it's been coming up a little bit over the last week. So, you know, maybe some, some things are being resolved for the collective when it comes to like, I don't know, seeing something or uncovering the truth of a person or people. It's like, it could have been a partnership, marriage, dating for a long time, and all that time that person was deceiving you, and all of a sudden it all came out. Again, because you saw something, Aquarius, because you are the, you see everything. You are the intellectual of the Zodiac, uh, and like you just saw through that. Actually, you're the scientist of the Zodiac and the inventor of the Zodiac, so you know, like, you applied the scientific method. You started thinking with your mind and you worked something out and something came uh, came out about this person either talking to an ex or doing something they shouldn't be doing, uh, seeing somebody else. This is something that had been happening for a long, long time. And maybe quite sadly, you know, because they left you with unresolved issues, the nine of wands, you confronted them. And this is the most toxic thing about this douche flute. Fruit, fruit of the douche. This person, instead of just answering your questions or giving you closure, they deny it at all. Or they try to gaslight you, you know, left you with that burden. They didn't address anything, just said, oh no, it, you're crazy, that's not true, and left. To, you know, there's someone who breaks up because they know they're going to be broken up with. This is a toxic, I mean, toxic, little toxic, little toxin. Mr. and Mrs. Toxic, all right? Anyone in between, the lovers. You know, in their intentions, they still they still wanna be chosen by you, they still wanna choose you, and they're still hoping to be with you. Ew, death. What to expect from them in the short term? I would not expect to hear from them, Aquarius, until the end of the year, but someone is reaching out. So this is that person, the Ace of Pentacles, quite possibly around your birthday. This is gonna take a while or at the close, closing of the year. It will take a while. But this person is hoping that when the dust settles and their lies settle, they're gonna come and somehow persuade you to make the choice and choose them again without addressing the issue. What a do, oh my gosh, no Aquarius, no, no, no daddy, no, no. 
Let's see who else is coming in. Oh my gosh, I didn't even ask the question. The cards already gave me the answer. The Queen of Chalices and the Six of Swords. So what is necessary is to move away from the pain, but Bill, if you're ready to move on, love awaits you, new love awaits you. This is the Queen of uh, Chalices. This is love personified. This is a beautiful scrumptious energy, water sign energy. Could be someone very caring, very loving, very deep. Could be a Scorpio, <laughs> like your mommy or a Cancer or Pisces. Beautiful energy, king, queen, anyone between gender is arbitrary, but someone is coming in. And again, it could be around this time this person is trying to return. You will be faced with a choice. Also with this lover's hair, there's an indication you may have a choice between two people. But give yourself the chance, put yourself out there, Aquarius. F the douche flute, you deserve the best of the best, the cream of the cream, none of this like, ew. Ew, let me know in the comments below what this person did. Uh, and who you are dealing with. And also Aquarius, remember, mommy loves you. Uh, all right, my boo, boo Also, if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out with the AI overlords. Leave me a little like, leave, leave me a little comment. It helps me so much. And also thank you to everyone who has been leaving me likes and comments. That is just so scrumptious. Uh, all your lovely messages and scrumptiousness, I really, really appreciate it. I do see the love. I feel the love, baby. And I'm so, so grateful. I'll see you next time, my people. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you.